are playing out back with some water guns. Baby is napping and I think I've only got Elliot in here right now because he doesn't want to get wet. So I am meal planning. Um, but the last couple weeks kind of been up in the air and us not knowing. Hi. <laughs> us not knowing if we were coming or going. Um, I really, I didn't know what to cook for dinner. It was kind of like I would buy stuff and didn't know like we wanted our house to sell fast, so I was like, okay, well, we're not gonna cook eggs, we're not gonna cook broccoli, we're not gonna cook fish, we're not gonna do curries, so it was like, what do we make? I didn't wanna put on a crock pot and then get a call that like, oh, you've got somebody coming through that wants to look at your house at like 5.30 and then my house smells like meat, you know? Um, so everything was like, we're gonna eat pasta salad and cook on the grill for like a month because <laughs> I don't want this, I was smelling like food. Um, but now that we don't really know what we're doing, I just am like, oh, screw it. And I'm just gonna cook the way I wanna cook. And if people can't look past the fact that my house smells like dinner, well, that's on you. So, I pulled out some of my favorite cookbooks. I'm actually noticing that one of them's missing, my absolute favorite cookbook. But um, they're actually vegan cookbooks. So, up until I was about eight months pregnant with Gideon, um, we were vegan probably for about two and a half years. Um, there was good, there was bad. Um, while we really like the idea of being fully vegan, um, there was something we found was missing. And I don't know if anybody out there is vegan and can give me some direction on this, that would be awesome. Um, I just, I feel like we were missing something. And I don't want to say it's because you can only get certain things from meat or you can only get certain things from dairy because I... I don't feel like the science and the research proves that like obviously eating a lot of dairy leads to cancer um, and eating a lot of meat is a not sustainable for my pocketbook um, and it's just it's not what's best for the world I don't I don't want to say that we're never gonna go back to vegan and I also don't want to say like that I don't even know I feel like everything in moderation. I feel like if everybody was able to do like two or three vegan dinners a week, you know, it would make a big difference change for kind of what's available um, locally. And I don't even know where I'm going with this. I just feel like it'd be better for the world if everybody kind of cut back on the crap. Let's put it that way. So I've got my cookbooks here. Yeah, you can kind of see this is, we've got, walls that we've been patching up yeah I'm sitting in a pile of boxes right now so I'm gonna go through my cookbooks stop rambling like a crazy person and see what I can find because instead of stress eating I'm just gonna stress cook and make other people eat it and then my waistline won't get bigger because that would suck <laughs> all right So don't mind the messy handwriting, but I think I've at least pulled together um, a week's worth of recipes and we'll see how they go. But I don't know if you can read my horrible handwriting. This is just like my super fast kind of. Um, 
So Saturday we're gonna be having tofu with a cashew ginger sauce and that's just got like a rice and a green veg on the side. Um, this here saucy barbecue chickpeas is like a casserole. Um, apple lentil dal, so it's, oh there's a fly. Um, if you've never had dal before, it's just really kind of like a really, really, really thick soup with lentils and you just dip uh, naan bread in it. You can do like a green veg on the side. Um, this one here, favorite veggie burger, super delicious. Um, don't judge me, penne vodka because, well, mama's got five kids and if you can throw a little vodka in your pasta, why not? Spinach linguine with basil cilantro. This is a basil cilantro pesto, it should say. Um, and artichokes. I don't know if I should be, be able to find spinach linguine, but we'll just make it with regular. Uh, Korean barbecue portobello burgers. Love these ones. And the recipe actually calls for something called kimchi, which is like a fermented um, cabbage. It sounds gross, but it's super delicious and our grocery store actually started carrying that so I'm super excited so I threw that on the menu and then this for Saturday a warm potato salad with grilled seitan and asparagus I am addicted to seitan it's probably not the best thing for me because it's made strictly out of um, wheat gluten which I know gluten's like the hot topic word right now um, but I love it I probably ate like probably a pound of it a day when um, I was pregnant with Gideon. So that is what we've got on the menu. And then this, this is like my all time favorite vegan cooking book. Larry's sister got it for me for my birthday one year. And it's Isa Does It by Isa Chandra Moskowitz. And oh my goodness, like every page, we'll get into it. Well, almost every page has this gorgeous full color picture along with the recipe. So if you're anything like me, like I like to see what the final product's supposed to look like so I know if I'm doing it right. Uh, but just like these gorgeous pictures, like I haven't even made this one yet, but that looks good, but I don't like rice in my soup, so we probably won't make that one. The cute little sandwiches, there's all different types of burgers. That's the Korean portobello yeah. mushroom burger. This one was a black bean burger with a nectarine island salsa. Love this book. This is like my go-to for everything. There's so many splatters and like fingerprints and just like, oh, deliciousness. Yeah, you can see like there's just mess everywhere. Love this book. So yeah, this one is my favorite. This one is also by Isa, Mosco I, ugh, Isa Moskowitz. Moskowitz. Um, so this one is a little more like fancy pants recipes. So like sushi and all sorts of fanciness. I don't use this one a ton um, just because it is a little more fancy. But if there's like a special occasion or there's some really great baking in here that I do a lot. This one I love. Um, super, super easy. Kid tested and approved. Although they didn't test it on my kids. So we don't always have a hit, but like kale chips. My kids go bonkers for kale chips. Um, this is one we love. I'm not really a fan of the name, but um, they're basically like faux meatballs just made from different nuts and um, there's like sun-dried tomatoes and all this deliciousness in there. You bake them in the oven, super delicious. Um, these pizzas, I was obsessed with these. Um, I guess it's probably my last trimester with Gideon um, and they're just these cute little pizzas on tortillas with hummus and then like whatever toppings you want baked up in the oven. So those were super easy. Love these burgers. Um, I don't really make them all that often because everything in here needs to be thrown in a food processor and I only have like one of those little mini chopper prepper ones. I don't have like a full size. I lent it out um, to someone and never got it back. So. Um, when you're trying to usually double, if not triple, recipes, um, doing it in this tiny little food processor doesn't really work. But there's all these yummy desserts, all vegan. They do give gluten-free options, dairy-free options. Oh, this one. Mm. Sweet potato cake, and we've made the sweet potato chocolate frosting to go on top. Oh, my goodness. I just could dive into that with a spoon. Um, so yeah, tons of amazing options. Oh, there's that green bean casserole that I was talking about, or the chickpea casserole. So you can kind of see what it looks like. 
And then this one I got for my birthday one year as well from a girlfriend. And this is the Oshi Glows. Super good. Um, there's juice recipes in here, smoothies, all different breakfast ideas, uh, desserts, snacks, baking, all sorts of deliciousness. So I've probably done um, probably about half the dinner recipes I've done in here. <gasps> this one I love. Super delicious. The first time you make it, you make this massive mess in your kitchen because you're using like every pot and spoon and measuring cup you have. But once you've made it a couple times, you kind of learn to streamline things. Um, so I will usually double this recipe and then uh, freeze one and I'll just eat it cold right out of the fridge. All sorts of soups, salads, but yes. So that is my vegan cookbook collection from our vegan days, which I don't know, maybe we'll get back to them. Maybe we won't. I'm not really sure. Okay, so what I forgot to say in my last clip, um, but when we were vegan and we were kind of like missing out on stuff, I'm trying to figure out how to hold this camera. It's not in my stand. Um, but what I found, so I was tandem nursing at the time, um, trying desperately to lose weight. And this might've been my own problem. I wasn't probably eating enough of what I needed to. I was still kind of in that starvation binge guilt cycle. Um, yeah, not good. Um, so that was all going on when I was vegan. So tandem nursing, trying to lose like 65 pounds of baby weight and being vegan at the same time. So that was tricky. I found I was like, I don't even know if hungry was the word, but I just felt like I was missing something. And what would happen was I'd be great all through the day, you know, making good, healthy-ish choices. And then come nighttime, um, I would walk probably an hour from here to our furthest grocery store. Um, I would pick up two bags of chips. I would walk back home because you gotta burn off the calories that you know you're about to eat. And I would eat an entire bag of chips. Larry would eat the other one. Um, and this happened probably five, six times a week. Yeah, an entire bag of chips to myself. Um, so no kidding, the baby weight wasn't exactly coming off as quickly as I thought it should. Um, so then obviously feeling guilty about that, wake up the next morning, eat super clean, vegan during the day thinking, oh yay, look at me, I'm vegan, la la la, and then chips again at night. Um, so maybe it's because I was tandem nursing and my body just couldn't keep up. Maybe it's because I just wasn't eating enough of the right stuff, probably not enough fats, probably not enough greens um, to get all that I needed. I probably should have been juicing um, a lot more just to make sure I was getting all that in. Um, but once I, I followed that up until I was about seven, eight-ish months pregnant with Gideon. Um, and then I just, I couldn't do it anymore. My body needed, um, I won't say it needed meat, but it needed something I wasn't getting. And I found I was able to get that through meat. Um, yes, I probably could have done my research. Yes, I probably could have like made vegan options and choices and all that. That would have been just fine, but I didn't. I still don't, and it's just the way it is. Sorry, not sorry. Um, but yeah, I do. I did feel good while eating vegan. I just was missing something. So, for any vegans out there or vegetarians, please don't hate on me. Um, I, I did try. I tried my best. Um, and who knows? We might go back. We might not. Um, but for now, we've got at least a week's worth of vegan dinners, and it's a start. So, to any vegans out there, if you have any tips for maybe why that happened or what we could do to avoid that um, in the future, if it is something that I want to dabble back into, please, please, please be kind, but let me know, um, because I would love to hear, you know, some some options and you know kind of how flies um, how things have worked for you guys um, if you've gone vegan if it worked for you if it didn't work for you and all that jazz hi I need a sword Ooh, that's a very cool sword with a giant handle all right so we are here at Superstore I am looking dang tired right now I'm still catching up on sleep from the last two weeks of craziness but we just finished lunch I've got Liam helping me out with groceries today. Hi, buddy. 
So we are gonna do week one of our vegan grocery haul. Not gonna lie, we're having meatloaf tonight because I had turkey in the fridge and I'm not wasting food. So we're gonna do turkey meatloaf tonight, but then starting tomorrow is day one of um, our four week vegan menu plan. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm not holding myself to being perfect on, on this. Um, it's more just, kind of getting back to where we were two and a half years ago or when we started two and a half years ago. Um, it's only been about eight months since we stopped eating vegan. Um, so yeah, we're giving it another go. Are you excited to eat more vegetables? No. Are you excited to eat some lentils and chickpeas and beans? If it was, if it was up to you, what would we eat all the time? What would you want to eat all the time? Chocolate. Chocolate. What else? Juice. Juice. What would you want to have for breakfast all the time? Um, ice cream. Ice cream. What would you want to have for lunch every day if, it, if you could choose? Um, fruit. Fruit. And what would we have for dinner all the time if you could choose? Um, pizza. All right. Ice cream, fruit, and pizza. Kind of balanced. It's more leaning towards like 20-80 eating, not necessarily 80-20, but we're getting there. How are you doing? Good things, how are you? Hey guys, so we are back. We got a ton of stuff and it was a lot cheaper than what I normally spend. Usually we're somewhere between 250 to 300 uh, for the week. Mind you, that does usually include either um, a box of diapers, um, dog food, or cat food. We usually kind of rotate through needing one of them a week and this week we didn't need any of those. Um, I still need to go to Sobeys and pick up a few items that Superstore didn't have, um, but they're not crucial uh, for the next couple days. So, yeah, here is what I got. So there is a look at what we got for the week. Um, starting off, we've got hamburger buns, which I couldn't figure out why I had put two packs on the list, so I only picked up one. And then I remembered we're having two different kinds of burgers for the week, so I'm still going to have to go pack back and get another pack of buns but we've got one of those to start two loaves of bread a pack of naan for the apple lentil doll we're going to be doing two packs of beans one will be for tonight one will be for when we do the um chickpea and bean casserole some big carrots oliver oddly enough asks for these for his snack and he just walks around the house eating a giant carrot so that's odd and wonderful all at the same time um maple syrup which it was a better deal to buy in this big giant can but now I'm realizing I really don't know what I'm gonna do with it once I open the can so I've got to figure that out um, silk almond uh, this is a new one they came out with which was hazelnut so I'm gonna try that and then I always have enjoyed the vanilla so I got one of that some molasses strawberries tomatoes soy sauce two packs of these little um, potato pancakes for the kids for their breakfast Liam wanted an orange and he's super picky with fruits and veg so I thought maybe if he picks it he'll eat it. Probably not but we'll try it anyway. Two different packs of bagels because heaven forbid all four of my kids actually eat the same thing for breakfast one day so a pack of blueberry, a pack of cinnamon raisin. Um, some fruit here, we've got peaches and this was like a three blend mix, three blend mix, that's quite the mouthful. This is a three fruit blend of Obviously strawberries, bananas, and kiwis. Some turkey. This one is like free from all the the junk that you don't want if I can find the. So yeah, so no antibiotics, no hormones, and it's grain fed. So yes, it's meat. Um, it's gonna be for the kids' lunch, but it was you know better than just getting the, the junk from the deli counter. Um, tofu, then there's a beef broth vegetable broth, uh, four portobello mushrooms. Um, what is this guy? Oh, mushroom broth, another pack of strawberries, peanut butter, some fettuccine. What are you? Crushed tomatoes. These I thought were kind of cool. They're like big bags of yogurt. So they were a lot cheaper per 100 mils to get the bag um, than the regular containers. There's a block of cheese. Oh, it's really like tight and squished together in here. Ginger, 
some apple cider vinegar, raw and natural, um, yep, cheese, sesame oil, cilantro, chocolate chips for a snack I'm going to make for the kids, sweet potatoes because yum, uh, a tomato paste, there's two avocados in there, big old pack of apples, some pears, we're going to be uh, doing some green juice this week, probably just for myself, but I'm sure some of my kiddos will sneak some sips. Some kiwi um, for some chia pudding that I'm going to be making this week. Sliced almonds. I think this is for pasta sauce I was going to be making needed almonds. Uh, Turmeric for in my tea. Fresh basil. Nine cucumbers for juicing and some for snacking. Oats because I'm going to be trying to get back into making some overnight oats. So I've got those. Some cooking wine. Pickles. Cottage cheese. I thought I had two cottage cheese. Yes, I do have two cottage cheese. Um, big old pack of spinach. That's two pounds of, no, not two pounds. That would be ginormous. This was 11 ounces. So, yes. Four bunches of kale. And I think that is it. So, all of that came to 197 and change. Uh, like I said, I'm still going to have to pop out to Sobeys, probably pick up some almond milk. Um, I need to pick up some vital wheat gluten and uh, almond meal. So that'll probably rack me up to probably another $30 or so just for those three items, but they will last me a couple weeks. So yeah, there you go guys. So here's a quick tip with leafy greens. Um, so this is my kale that I bought. If you don't want it to go all wilted in the fridge and like the first day or two you've got it, wrap it up in just, oh, this one's got a hole in it, oh well, um, in one of the grocery plastic bags, so some of these came off like my kiwis or my pears, um, and wrap it over the top of it, stems sticking at the bottom, and that'll actually keep it a lot fresher um, until you need it. All right, so here is just a little bit I ran over to Sobeys to pick up. There was just pasta sauce that I'm going to put with the meatloaf tonight pound of butter, some Caesar dressing just to put on the side of the meatloaf, wheat gluten for one of my recipes, and a big old thing of almond milk. So all together that was 26, 23.